Good day to our beloved lecturer. My name is Lim Jianxiang from Group 25, Product Design and Manufacturing. I am the first presenter for our group project, which is Portable and Wearable Body Support for Prolonged Standing Tasks. The idea to generate this body support to hand when we are working in the laboratory to complete the task. When working in the laboratory, most of the tasks require you 10 students to perform in a prolonged time. For example, drilling and milling process. The conventional chair is not suitable to be used because the conventional chair is restricted by the workplace. This will lead to very coarse vein, back pain and muscle fatigue, especially in their leg. For long term, this will lower their working efficiency, quality of work, as well as affect their health due to long time standing. This body support tool tends to provide a flexible and variable ergonomic sitting support to u student students to reduce their muscle fatigue. The objective of this body support tool is to determine the desired requirement of portable and wearable body support from students who are exposed to prolonged standing at the laboratory in u -TEM. Secondly, to analyze the technical specification of the portable and wearable body support based on design requirement of the potential user. Thirdly, to fabricate a medium fidelity prototype of portable wearable body support for students in UTEP. Next, my group will take place for the literature review. Hi, I am Nur Ezra Amira. In this slide, I will explain on the existing product. For the first product is wearable chair. It is foldable but not adjustable for user height. Thus, this product does not have shoe pad, so it may not give a sufficient comfort. Next, the second product is adjustable chairless chair. It is foldable and adjustable for user height. Also, it provides the safety belt at the leg. The third product is compact lightweight folding chair. The usage is simple, which releases telescopic leg mechanism to set the height. It is travel-friendly size due to its lightweight. Lastly, the fourth product show the product not included the safety element on the user legs, so it is not recommended to use as it can harm the user. Based on the existing product review, we gained the idea to develop new concept of portable and wearable body support for prolonged standing tasks. Hi, my name is Lee Zerson. On this slide, I want to talk about methodology on this project. The product is performed analysis research on product design stages we show in this flowchart. Throughout the design stages, there are various types of analysis to improve the product design. Firstly, a survey is conducted among the students to find out the best technical specification for the product based on their requirement. This will attain the first objective of the product. Then, half of quality has been constructed to translate the requirement into measurable technical specification. From this analysis, we also know that second objective has also been examined. Next, Proceed to the concept generation, the product has generated into various parts of the design with the help of morphological chart and concept combination table. After that, to choose the best concept of the product by adapted decision matrices in concept screening and scoring. Furthermore, the sustainability assessment are used to explore the product environmental impact, which is life cycle thinking, echo web design, and echo indicator. Lastly, to improve the design of the product, the analysis done by seven steps of usability testing to understand the concern and requirement on the selected end user, and the design has been revised. This project has been carried out by analysis and clarification of data delivered uh, effective and efficient on the design process stages. From these stages, we have achieved the objective on the project. That's all for me. My next group mate will continue the presentation. Assalamualaikum and every good day. My name is Nurul Atikah Binti Zakaria. I would like to continue with the result and finding. 
Firstly, I will start at the survey result. Based on previous survey, the data from the feature are important to the product. There are six student requirement with percentage as we can see in the table. The percentage of each feature are more than 50%. Next is the manufacturing drawing plan in three views which are front, side and top view in millimeter dimension. In this drawing, there is assembly drawing with labeling name for each part. The drawing is designed using AutoCAD. After that, table on the left side show the total number of bill of material is 5, which is upper and lower road, joint, supporting bar, cam lock and base. For the manufacturing process, there are four components which are upper root and lower root, joint, supporting bar and base. Based on the life cycle thinking diagram, it's very important when developing a product because it helps to decrease the negative ecological effect of waste breaks and waste administration. My name is Choi Yun Hong. On this slide, I would like to present about discussion parts. Firstly, we use morphological chart to evaluate the concept generation stage. Sub-functions of this product are separate into six parts and generate the five different concepts of the product, which is variable thread, seat, upper road, lower road, joint, and base. Secondly, we use the concept combination table in concept evaluation stage. In this concept combination chart, we have generated five concepts from six sub-functions. Then we proceed to concept screening by using PAPS concept screening chart. Concept 1 and 6 should proceed to concept scoring. Concept 2 and 3 are needed to combine to proceed to concept scoring. Concept 5 is not suggest to proceed. After that, we proceed to concept scoring chart. Concept 1 get the highest mark which is 3.72. Concept 6, obtain the second highest mark, that is 3.43. And concept 2 and 3, receive the lowest score, which is 3.29. So, concept 1 is to be the concept design of this product. Lastly, for the conclusion, this product is able to determine the design requirements of portable and variable body support from students who are exposed to prolonged standing at the laboratory in UTEM. This product could analyze the technical specification of the portable and variable body support based on design requirements of potential users. This product is able to fabricate a medium fidelity prototype of portable and variable body support for students in UTEM. For the future works, this product can help the workers in the industry field.